My interests are not just model airplanes. I actually always had a love for electronics, microcontrollers, and robotics. So when I found out about this Ultimate Robotics Kit from MakeBlock, I just couldn't resist checking it out. I'm a big proponent of STEM activities. And this MakeBlock Ultimate 2.0 looks to be a fantastic educational STEM kit for both young and old. I mean, just look at all the kinds of stuff you can geek out on. With some pretty high-tech options. This camera dolly is of particular interest to me. So let's see what you get inside the box. Parts are well packed in open cell foam with slots to match the parts shape. Two full levels of parts are packed into the box. Even with just a quick glance, I could tell a lot of thought was put into the kit. The first piece that grabbed my attention was this claw. Get it? Get it? Anyways, it looks to have a motorized screwdriver to open and close the gripper claw thing. Speaking of motors, you get these snazzy DC geared motors, which look to have some sort of encoder on them. Output shaft looks heavy duty as well. You get not one, but three of these beauties. There are a bunch of gears, six of which appear to be identical. Their plastic felt quite durable. I'm not sure what this is, but it has a thrust bearing in the middle of it. Some nicely cut acrylic plates. I'm pretty sure they are motor mounts of some sort. There are a whole bunch of these blue anodized extruded and machined aluminum frame parts. You really get quite a lot of them. The machining and finish look quite good. This is not your parents' erector set. These parts are stout. It took me a second to figure out where these rubber rings go. Looks like the gears can double as wheels. A foldable storage box is included for convenient storage of parts. Tank treads and of the rubber kind. I... I wasn't quite sure what this is. Looks to be a mount of some sort with a suction cup base. And a ratcheted swivel. I found a 6 AA battery holder among a stash of random parts. Including these snazzy shaft couplers. The kit also has this neat double-sided parts container with screws on one side and special parts on the other, like this nut tool, threaded shafts, and such. <laughs> no shortage of screws either. A package of wires includes a USB cable, RJ25 connector cables, and a neat multi-purpose screwdriver. Moving on to the bottom tray. I found where those RJ connectors plug into. I also found the heart of the whole thing. They are Duino based at Mega 2560 processor board. I'm not familiar with this particular board format, but I was impressed with the number of control ports, header pins, and just stuff crammed into this small board. However, looks like I found where the RJ connector board goes. More parts crammed into a nondescript box. Let's see, an ultrasonic sensor, some sort of voltage converter, maybe. Me shutter? I'm gonna have to read the manual for that. Oh, a line follower. Connector adapter. Hmm, a multi-axis accelerometer. Neat. And lastly, a Bluetooth module. A very interesting set of sensors and modules. There is a pretty hefty manual that seems to clearly show all the parts and how to assemble the various projects using isometric line drawings. 
Reminds me of LEGO instructions. I like that the modules and sensors have dedicated descriptions in plain language. Back of the book has optional parts lists. <laughs> that joystick looks pretty cool. And additional details on programming options. So I'll have to say I'm impressed with what I've seen so far. Uh, there's some really nice hardware and I really like that they use a more powerful version of the Arduino processor. Now obviously there will be a part two of this review where I'll go through the various projects to see how well they work. It should be a lot of fun to see what I can cludge together and it looks like quite a bit actually. So stay tuned and uh, I'll see you next time. Hi, thanks for watching. Please take a look at the video description below for special hobby view sales and discounts. Your purchases help support this channel. Happy modeling!